Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to Tanner's Baby Shark Party Prep. I hope this video gives you some motivation or inspiration for your next birthday party. The first thing that I'm starting with is making the cake because you know baking stresses me out. I want to make sure it turns out good so that I'm not running to the bakery. What you just saw was me just pouring hot water into Hershey's cocoa and I'm going to let that cool on the side because I am making a chocolate cake. Next up for our cake, we're just getting our vanilla extract. I'm spilling a lot of it all over the place because my daughter wouldn't let me put her down, but it's fine. Um, she's learning how to bake with me. Next, we're just gonna cream together our butter and our sugar and vanilla extract. And I will have this recipe linked in the description box below, so don't you worry. You don't have to sit here and try to write everything down. It turned out delicious, so I think you should definitely try it out. And it was great for like keeping shape when cutting, so it was really, really great. And next, I'm just mixing in the rest of our dry ingredients and I'm gonna give that a stir, mix everything together, and then we're finally gonna go ahead and pour it into our pan and bake this cake. Um, because of the amount of cake I had, um, it took about, I want to say like 40 minutes to cook instead of where the recipe calls for 30 minutes. So it kind of just depends on your oven. So I suggest just checking it. But besides the fact that this took a lot of ingredients to make, I think it was totally worth it because it was delicious and everyone loved it. Now that that's in the oven, we are going easy peasy and doing a good old box of Funfetti cupcakes because the kids love these and I didn't have time to do from scratch cupcakes and I wanted to do this. So, you know, it's give a little, take a little. Um, you know, I went all out with the cake, so on the other parts, I'm just going to be relaxed about like a box cake. I'm also like doing the decorations myself, but because I know all of this other stuff is taking me time. I'm doing it easy with the food and I'm just going to do pizzas and pretzel trays and fruit and vegetables and snacks and I let my kids pick what food they want at their party because after all this is their party so Tanner picked out all of that food so literally I'm just making the desserts everything else I'm buying It's later on in the evening now and I am just trying to figure out how I'm going to make the perfect baby shark cake. I watch tons of videos on YouTube but they make it look way too easy. So this is what I came up with. I couldn't figure out the right size to print on my um, computer so I'm just making it larger by tracing a larger than fish or larger than shark and it turned out perfect. So this is what worked for me. Since this part is really long um, of me cutting the cake, I just wanted to talk to you guys about something that's been on my mind. And that is like this social media birthday party envy that is just ridiculous. Um, you know, do whatever you want for your kid's birthday. When I grew up, I had a cake from my mom that meant a lot for me. Every single birthday was done at my house. You know, this is not um, for social media purposes this is for your kids to make your kids happy and I know that all of us moms sometimes see birthday parties done on social media and we're like oh my gosh or it makes us feel less than but please don't ever feel that way um, this cake was the highlight of 
the party. Like this was a big deal for me. And if you go back and watch on our family vlog channel, you see Tanner's face when he saw the cake. And that's what I was going for. I wasn't going for what other people saw. It was sweet little Tanner's face was so excited for this cake. All the decorations, they looked beautiful as you'll see, but I Amazon Prime them all. Like I made it easy on myself because I am a mom of three and life is crazy. Um, the hardest part was that I had to start all this stuff the night before the party because I was really sick and you can probably hear that I'm still a little bit sick. So yeah, that is what I wanted to say and I hope that, you know, maybe that resonated with you and I just want you to feel proud of yourself for whatever you're doing for your child's birthday. I looked up like a homemade buttercream icing recipe and I got overwhelmed and just bought this and it's still perfectly fine. The first thing I'm doing is just spreading a layer of the icing out and one thing that happens to me with cutting cakes is of course I get those little crumbs everywhere. Initially my plan was just to icing this cake just how it is right now but again the little chocolate crumbs were getting into the icing everywhere so I had to come up with a plan B as I usually do when I try to bake because baking just is not easy for me. Um, so you'll see what I did here. I just put icing into a piping bag and went from there and I think it turned out really, really great and I hope that you guys like this and that you see it is actually not, not too hard to do. And while I'm doing this, don't think I wasn't putting Chris to work. He was manually blowing up all of these balloons. I've been telling him we need like the balloon time, balloon blower upper, <laughs> whatever it's called. And he always says, well, you never like the colors of balloons that come with them. And he's right. Um, so I don't know. Do you guys have any other tips or do you blow them up by yourself? Now I'm just like freehanding where I want my different icings to go and I also wrote like a W that I want white there and a B for where I want blue just so that I don't go crazy with the yellow.
This is a trick that my mom taught me a long time ago. Just put some toothpicks in your cake just so that the plastic wrap doesn't mess up your icing. And now we are starting with our balloon arch. I absolutely love making these for parties because I feel like they add so much. They look professionally done, but they're not. All you need is this little clear piece of plastic tape I get from Amazon. It's not even tape because it's not sticky, but I'm going to show you up close exactly what I'm talking about. I feel like balloon arches are super intimidating. Um, I just use the actual clear tape like I talked about. I don't buy like the actual arches because I know they make like a plastic arch or something for you to use. But I just use it freehand like this and I always put it over the same spot in my house. This little um, window in our kitchen and it's just always the perfect little piece of decor. And don't let it intimidate you. You have to try it. It's very easy and it's extremely inexpensive. This custom banner I got for Tanner a very long time ago. I want to say like a couple months ago. Um, so I've had that. That's another tip. Like I like making my kids pick out what kind of party they want um, way in advance so that I could slowly buy things for it. So it's not like so much at once. Um, for me with the balloon arches, I always wind up like tying a ribbon around it and then taping that ribbon to the wall. That is the best way for me and I use painter's tape so that I don't mess up our freshly painted wall. Moving on to all of the baby shark balloons, I feel like balloons are a great piece of decor because when you're done, your kids can play with them and they love it and they get a kick out of it. So balloons are definitely one of the best pieces of decor. I'll have everything linked below in the description box as to where I got everything. Everything is literally from Amazon, but I found the best prices on everything that I did purchase because I did my research and everything just came out really, really great. If I could recommend one thing for you, it's just like having spots in your house that you know you like decor and this is if you're having an at-home party. Like what spots um, do you think the best decor would be? What are some things that you're always going to have at your birthday parties? Um, just things like that. So for us, we always pick an activity that we're going to have, which is usually the pinata. Um, and then also like something to make the kids smile. So in the past, we've dressed up as dinosaurs for Carter's dinosaur party. This year, we dressed up as baby shark for Tanner's baby shark party. Just something silly to make the kids laugh. We always have a goodie bag. We had a popcorn maker. We just have like the same things in different variations for our kids parties. 
So this is a banner that I got from Amazon that I really loved. I didn't know that I had to put the rope in it myself, but it was fine because it was really, really cute and worth it. And it's still up right now because Tanner's actual birthday is not until Thursday. So we're gonna keep it up, but it's very cute. I thought these were a cute little addition for any spaces that just seemed undecorated, like on the countertops and things like that. These were a cute little accordion style baby sharks. They kind of look a little bit creepy and a little bit cute. Tablecloths are a very easy way to decorate and they're actually very useful, especially for kids parties, so that you're not sitting there scrubbing icing off of your table for weeks to come and it just looks cute. The kids love it. This three balloon almost killed me, but I was determined to blow it up and um, I had the perfect spot for it and I also want to grab a picture of Tanner on his actual birthday of him holding it so it's totally worth it but I seriously almost passed out from it. We have a popcorn maker from when we did Tanner's second birthday, and we also had a projector from when we did Tanner's second birthday. So that's another thing that we always have the popcorn maker and the projector out for birthday parties. We just had ping pong songs playing all day, but I also got those cute little popcorn holders that are Baby Shark theme. Um, Tanner loved it. And then these little things, I wouldn't recommend. I think they look cute, but they were annoying and they kept breaking. Um, just like to give the centerpiece something a little bit extra. I just didn't have the time to mess with it But maybe if you have time to use like hot glue or something It would be worth it and it is so late you guys it was 1 15 a.m. And I still had more to do I wanted everything done the night before because I know how fast the mornings go with kids um, You know just trying to get ready for the party So I just went ahead and ironed everything and got all of our outfits ready for the next day
Chris was calling me telling me that Ella was awake and needed to nurse so I hurried up and wiped off the counter and made myself a little note of what I still needed to do for the following day because not only is that going to help me for the following day but it's also going to give me some peace of mind and let me just like rest um, because when there's like a huge to-do list on my mind at night and I don't write it down it makes me very anxious and not be able to sleep well so definitely make a note of what you need to do and guess what didn't get done on that list yep my nails okay day two morning of the party I've just put together Tanner's birthday hats um, these were just like a cute little touch and I love that we got like a family photo in them that alone makes it all worth it because we'll have that photo forever I just love anything custom for a birthday party it's actually like I love anything custom in life I just love customization and by customization <laughs> I mean personalization I love personalized items monogram stuff I live for it I also got this like you know it's like a baby one through um one month through 12 month banner but I still used it anyway because I thought it would be cute and I think that another great touch to have at any birthday is the is pictures of the person that you're celebrating I think that makes it really special and just kind of sends you down memory lane I can't believe my baby's turning three this week seriously it gives me like all the feels I feel like he was just born yesterday okay let me stop I'm gonna start crying Now it is time for goodie bags and pinata stuffing. So I always put a few items in the goodie bags, but then I also use these goodie bags for the kids to collect their pinata candy. That's what we always do at our party so that the parents don't hate me for giving their kids a bunch of candy in their goodie bags and then more candy from the pinata. So I love how this little table came out, it's just so cute and again it's like functional. You have the party bags, you have hats and masks so that people don't forget to use them, popcorn maker, um, and it's a place to put everything and it looks really cute. So I really like how this all came out. Next we are just setting out some drinks for guests to easily grab. Another thing that is always really good at our parties is that we always have iced coffee out for the parents. Um, so I definitely recommend just grabbing, we grabbed a thing of cold brew um, from Wegmans, but I think that the parents really enjoy coffee because who doesn't need coffee? Of course you can do hot coffee too, but we just always have iced coffee out with some creamers and some like different sugars like a stevia and a regular sugar. I just feel like the parents really appreciate that. I know I would appreciate that at a party as well. These cupcakes weren't my finest work, but there was only an hour left for me to get ready before people came over. Um, so I just quickly am putting some icing on here. And then um, the little cupcake toppers that I got are from Amazon and also came with like a little happy birthday topper that I used on Tanner's cake. Definitely recommend it, it's just easy and super cute. So I really hope that you all enjoyed this party prep video and that I gave you some motivation in any kind of way or maybe some inspiration to do your at-home birthday parties. Um, but yeah, I hope that you liked it. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and just know whatever kind of party that you give for your kid, they are grateful and they are happy because the parties 
are about them and nothing else. It's about celebrating who we love. So please don't let social media make you feel any less for whatever kind of party you throw your kid. So I'll